Residents of the village of Koronevo in the Kursk region complained to Putin as well as the heads of the Russian Defense Ministry, the Prosecutor General, the head of the Investigative Committee and the Chief Military Prosecutor about the facts of mass looting committed by Russian military personnel during the so-called counter-terrorist operation after the entry of Ukrainian Armed Forces units into the region. A corresponding collective appeal from Koronevo residents appeared on social networks. People write that there was not a single day of Ukrainian army presence in Koronevo, but after the arrival of Russian military in the village, dozens of residential buildings, shops, gas stations and pharmacies were looted. They say there are numerous accounts of men in Russian military uniforms breaking down doors of evacuated homes, taking away belongings and valuables and shooting dogs to stop them from interfering with the looting. Russian soldiers also steal cars and agricultural equipment that their owners did not manage to take away. It is no secret that stolen property is taken away through fields and open roads, the statement says. There is no official response from the Russian authorities to the cry from the heart of the indignant Kursk residents who believe in the fair Putin. Recall while Ukrainians have been fighting in the Kursk region to push the war onto enemy territory in one of the villages outside their control where there is a Wild Berries online shop warehouse Russians are engaging in regularly. A recording surfaced online showing three Russian soldiers entering the warehouse and freely opening the deposited parcels. According to Russian telegram channels, three Russian soldiers entered the warehouse and began opening and taking parcels that had been sent to local residents. Another recording is circulating online showing Russian soldiers, likely from Akhmat, looting a mobile phone shop in Grushkovo in the Kursk region. The shared recordings are being commented on by internet users. Very telling, notes one and adds, the activity of Kadyrov's men in the Kursk region, looting shops. Will they receive a Tesla Cybertruck? Administrative buildings housing the base of Russian Wagner Military Group is in fire in Mokin settlement in Russia's Krasnodar region, local media reported. According to the reports, the administrative buildings accidentally caught fire, where the headquarters of the infamous Russian armed formation had been stationed for around 10 years. There were no Wagner members in the premises during the fire. A Russian telegram channel Orchestra Wagnera claimed that that the fire was an attempt to remove traces of the activities of Wagner Group. A Ukrainian telegram channel claimed that the administrative building that caught fire had been used by the Wagner members fighting in African continent. It should be noted that Wagner Private Military Company has played a significant role in Russia's war of invasion in Ukraine. The group also supports regimes in Syria, Libya, Mali and Central African Republic. It should be noted that Ukraine launched a massive drone attack on Russia's Krasnodar region on Saturday, causing large fire. Residents were evacuated due to the risk of explosions. The authorities have not named the settlement struck by the drones. Африканский корпус хули. Бывшие фильтра конторы. Штаб горит. Russian President Vladimir Putin visited Thursday a drone plant in St. Petersburg where he inspected equipment and chaired a meeting on military production. Russia plans to increase its production of unmanned vehicles almost 10 times in 2024 and expand its range of combat technology, Putin said speaking at the meeting. Most of them will be sent to the troops located on the line of combat contact, he added. Putin stressed the importance to cover all the needs of the Russian armed forces which would include not only production increase but also modernization and improvement of tactical and technical characteristics.